are back to my grandmother's cookbook. Right. Now, the interesting thing about this, this is the the one from her cookbook. The one from her, her cookbook, cookbook that she, that wrote, she out. wrote out. And mm -hmm. as you can see from the stains, it has been used many times. Yes, she likes this one, you guys. But she copied it. She loved this recipe so much. Yeah that she copied it from the Helen Corbett's cookbook. And we'll show you guys the Helen Corbett cookbook in a little bit because we're going to start doing things out but of that one too. But she loved it so much that it literally fell apart. Right, right. And yeah. So. And she's made many notes. So today we're actually going to do the amended version, the grandma version, or like she test kitchened this stuff. Yeah to see what was gonna be better for her, and she made it happen. So we're gonna do the grandma test kitchen um, of this avocado, avocado mousse. mousse. Because in the original thing, it says to do lime jello, and I feel like we- We learned our lesson. We learned our lesson. We, yeah, we're not using lime savory, jello anymore. Savory lime jello recipes. Mm -mm. No. We're done. No, we're done with done. that. So, okay, so avocado, avocado mousse. mousse. One tablespoon of gelatin. Which we have. Dissolved in uh, two tablespoons of cold water. Now. Uh, Helen Corbett says two, one cup mashed ripe avocado, but grandmother says two cups of We've mashed got. ripe avocado. Got our avocado. Half a cup of mayo. We got that. Again with the mayo. Yeah. They love the mayo. I know. In this thing. Half a cup of cream, uh, heavy cream whipped. Yeah, we're gonna whip it. And then grandmother's, whip it good. grandmother's additions <laughs> are lemon juice, so All I'm right. just assuming like just squeeze it in. Onion juice, which I know about because I know that my grandmother has used this before and all you do is you grate an onion and then you like squeeze the juice out of it through and a cheesecloth through a cheesecloth or through a well she would use like paper towels okay and just like squeeze it through and you use that juice to okay. flavor things so. uh Tabasco we got Tabasco paprika paprika and salt salt and then um I mean it does it, you just combine it. Right. Really? Here's good. one thing Helen Corbett's instructions say. Right. Pour into a mold greased with mayonnaise. Right. So I guess we're going to grease something with mayonnaise, you and guys. Never set. done that before. Okay. And then Helen Corbett gives a really sweet little story about how she served this mold to the Duke of Windsor at a luncheon given in Houston, Texas. Yeah. It also says in here that they had a nice conversation and he was intrigued by the appearance and taste. Yeah. Intrigued. I don't I think intrigued means that he was he was British, so he was too yeah. polite to be he like, what know. the hell is this? No, I'm not eating that. Yeah. I'm not eating that And ass. she served mm -mm. it with strawberries, fresh pineapple sticks, orange sections, clusters of white grapes, bing cherries, and springs of fish mint. Oh. I mean yum. And filled the center. Wait, so she probably did it in a ring. She did it in a ring. Filled it with mayonnaise combined with pecans and grated orange peel. It looked like a beautiful garden party hat. <laughs> a beautiful mayonnaise -y. Oh, party hat. So let's make this. All right, we're gonna make it avocado mousse. Folding in half a cup of mayonnaise. Right. I just am not as well versed with uh, gelatin as <laughs> maybe I need to be. Well, after this, <laughs> You will be. I love, love a jello mold. Jello mold. No, you do. I love it. All right, I'm dissolving the the two the tablespoon or okay. whatever the packet of gelatin is in the hot water. You're folding in the mayonnaise. Folding in the mayonnaise, and then I'm gonna fold in. I whipped some heavy cream into stiff peaks. So this is just a guac with no tomatoes. It really is. Savory lime jellos. No. What we've learned. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. At all. Put All that right. in there. Okay. And then we got our mousse. Got our mousse. We're gonna put it in the mold. We're yep. gonna let it set up. Yep. We'll come back and we'll show you guys um, how another, to serve it. Another green mold. It looks. But this one will be tasty, as opposed to the other. It's green a very mold. different color than the other one. So we'll see how it works. All right. Be back. The avocado mousse. Okay, so it's halfway set and halfway not. Mm -hmm. We feel like we should have used more jello because we, we should have used two packets, two packets of gelatin. Of gelatin. Oh. But, I mean, it did sort of. If you had two packets of gelatin, you could do it. But right now, okay, it's guac. Yeah, and it's super hot in here. So, because we're trying to conserve energy, blah, 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 love the environment, blah, blah, it's blah. It's a thousand degrees. But, um, so it's melting really quickly. Yeah. So we're going to do this. Quick. 
quick like Get a bunny. Tostito. Tostito. We've got our, our little corn chips. We're going in. And here we go. It's guac. This is guac. It's very light. Mm hmm It's airy. Yep. Um, but it has all the classic flavors, except mm -hmm. for there's no um, no tomato. There's no tomato and there's and no, no pepper. pepper or spice really. Yeah, there's no spice at all. No. There's the onion, a little bit of the onion from the juice of the onion. Uh huh. But there's no chunks in this. No. It's it's smooth. It's a smooth it's walk. A sm <laughs> and if we had added two packets <laughs> of Jello, like my instincts had told me, it would be a a firm guac. I'm just gonna scrape this into a bowl. Yep. And we're gonna call it guacamole in the bowl. <laughs> this like, is the smoothest guacamole you'll we'll ever you, eat. We we'll could guacamole uh, mousse. Guacamole mousse. Thank God we didn't put the lime jello. Oh my god, it would have been disgusting. But it's very light in texture. Mm -hmm. Very light in flavor. <laughs> As for the asparagus jello that we made, this has an avocado taste. The other one with the asparagus jello, it did not taste of uh, asparagus. No. At all. Um, it just tasted of lime jello. And so I think your grandmother was right in the... She was right in crossing out. In her own little test kitchen Ellen thing. Ellen Corbett was wrong. She was wrong. My grandmother was right. Yeah. Yeah, she was right. I know it looks a little gross. No, but it is What were you supposed to fill in the middle? Remember, Helen Corbett had filled with... Imagine this filled and brimming with mayonnaise. Oh, oh, remember it was it was, it was mixed like in mixed in nuts and it wasn't an orange rind or something. Yes, orange rind and nuts and pecans, pecans mixed in with mayonnaise and mounded. Can you imagine? <laughs> Gross. Oh. oh, that no. would be disgusting. Oh, it'd be so gross. I think this is really it's good. It's not gross. I would do this again and add tomatoes. And and make a mold. I'm gonna do it. Game day. Put the tomatoes and things on the inside. Good thinking. Uh -huh. Oh, watch party. Watch party for anything. Any watch. Oscars. Uh, Tonys. Golden Globes. OU Ohio <laughs> State. Orange is the new black. Whatever. Whatever, Whatever you're watching. Watch party. Guacamole. Mold. If you want something fancy and you want it to be molded. It's still cute. I would make this again no, with some alterations. It's starting to melt. I, it is because it's literally 82 degrees in here. It's, okay, guys. Avocado mousse. Avocado mousse. Try it. Make You're it. You're really gonna like it. Make it. <laughs> hey guys, thank Hi. you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It was a fun time. It was. It was fun. We love to do it. Yeah. So if you have um, crazy recipes, vintage recipes, old recipes, grandma recipes. Anything that you think is disgusting in nature, um, maybe came from your great grandma, maybe came from your auntie, whatever. We want to know. We do. We really want to know. So just put it in the comments. Yeah. We'd love to see what you have. Yeah. So share with us. Leave it in the comments. Yes. Recipe Archaeology. And stay tuned every week. On Tuesdays. Tell your friends. Don't forget Tuesdays. <laughs>